from Kusaku, but not really. It's also in Sunsu, right? That's just how we other color, right? Okay. And then I added, I said, okay, let's now go from Kamai, where we're doing this move in Sun Tzu, and now we're doing it as we're catching his arm and attacking the joint right away. And if you notice, I'm not worried about being in this kind of stance, because I'm not going to be standing like that in the fight. So what I do is I just kind of move myself where I'm in a good position and I, where I can kick afterwards, right? And we talked about that. If he does the natural response and tries to pull back once he feels pain on the joint, that creates you know, distance, so that gives you distance to follow up with the kick. Okay? So, <clears throat> but we can do this, right, where he comes in with a punch, right? right? So he comes in with a punch and I catch, right? And now maybe as I go to kick, right, he pulls back and he drops his elbow and pulls down, right? But now I'm here. So now from here, I can come up. And as I come up, I can peer. I can also come up and I can do this. I can do a rising punch here and break his arm. But now I can come up here and now I can hit here. Now I can hit here. Now I can come in and take him down. Right? So now we've gone from the starting in Sun Tzu, now we've morphed into Seiyuji. Okay? So again, as he comes in, right? Why, would I, why might I do this? Well, I might do this because he comes in with the punch, right? And again, like, he might pull back, right? Pull out of my hand. But now my hand's here, so follow up. So now my hand's in front. It's not underneath. So I couldn't do this one. So now I just do here, here, right? Now come in, right? But also, when I do this, he's probably going to go up. Now this can, back fist can drop on his throat. Elbow in, down to the groin. Strike. And if you want to throw, you throw. Yes, Lord. So he can punch you with the right or the left. First he starts with the left, and then just to the right. You, you okay. should always work techniques against both sides. Okay. And sometimes you, so if in the kata it's done like this, you should literally, okay, okay let's, he punches here, and I come here, and now I do the tip kick, right? And I say, okay, do this one, right? And now I'm going to come here. And it's the same move, right? Mm -hmm. so, so again, the move in the kata is here and here, right? So he comes in with this one, I come in and strike, now I do this. Only I would really drive them down. Yeah. So people say, well, that's not the kata. Okay, whatever. whatever. Whatever you want to think is not the kata. I kick, the next move is this. Okay? So what did I just do? I kicked them, and I went like this. Mm -hmm. Right? The only thing is, I'm not in my mind thinking it's a what? Uh, it's a block. Well, right? It's problem in modern karate, everything's labeled. Everything's got a label. Okay? <clears throat> oh, this is a shuto block. The problem is, it's not always a shoot the block. It's also a strike, right? It's also a what? A seizing right. technique, right? It can also be what? A fingertip strike. I can hit you with the edge of my thumb, right? So when we start labeling things, it becomes a problem, right? Because even myself, right? You heard that this is a low block so many times, it's hard to get that out of your, your head because you hear this all the time, right? But we have to get it out of our head. Because the only place like low blocks like this work or head blocks like this work is really in a, in a, a, a sports sparring setting. And that's why they become only blocks when there's a lot more to them than that. All right? Okay, so, so let's try this one. And again, you can adapt it, figure it out, see what's going on there. Right? Okay? So one, try it. One more time. Okay. One more time. So, so if he, he comes in, I come here, right? I kick him, right? Mm -hmm. if, if I jump underneath and the arm's here, I can punch straight up and break the elbow, right? If, if I wind up over the arm, I can just strike here. Elbow. Okay. Then this is, becomes a hammer fist to the groin, maybe, right? And then from here, right? So, so then from here, obviously, I can finish up and take him over and throw him. And you say, well, what, what's that move, right? That move is this move. In Sun Tzu, I mean, again, right? You know, it's right there, right? But we see the move, and we're like, "What's that?" Oh, it's a back fist. Okay, what? Light bulb again. It's a back fist. Okay, how much power is in the back fist? So, oh, we'll you use the back fist to distract. Okay, well, what am I distracting when the back fist is down here? What am I? What am I distracting? There's nothing to distract. Oh, well, you hit him in the groin. Yeah. Okay. But again, like I mentioned to someone over here, right? If you're a guy, the first thing you learn to protect in your life is what? Mm -hmm. The family jewel. That's, 
you're detecting it right away. It becomes in super instinctual. You have to come up underneath. And again, it makes no sense. But if I'm in here, right? If I'm in here and I do that, yeah, he can't handle that. Right? All right? Try it.